In the vast expanse of our universe, countless celestial bodies beckon us with their mysteries, tantalizing our imagination and ultimately igniting the eternal question, are we alone? This is the age-old question humans have been pondering since the beginning of our existence. But what if I told you that the answer to this mind-boggling question might be right within our own solar system? Brace yourself for an extraordinary journey as we delve into the enigmatic frontiers of space exploration. Join us as we uncover the awe-inspiring secrets of four celestial bodies that can hold the key to unlocking the greatest discovery in human history, extraterrestrial life. Prepare to have your imagination ignited and your perspective forever transformed. Get ready to embark on an odyssey that will forever change the way you see the universe and our place within it. Stay tuned until the end of the video to discover our most recent findings and possibly find the answer we have all been looking for. And if you enjoy our content here on Imaginable, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it really helps the growth of our channel. In the depths of the cosmos, where unimaginable forces collide and celestial bodies defy comprehension, the quest for life beyond Earth takes us to the very limits of possibility. As we journey into the unforgiving realms of the universe, we find that potential life must possess unparalleled resilience to conquer the harshest challenges. From withstanding scorching infernos that could melt steel, to navigating treacherous realms of radiation that would vaporize us in an instant, these intrepid organisms must adapt, evolve, and survive against all odds. But even more extraordinary, they must seek out energy amidst the chaos, harnessing the raw power of their hostile homes to fuel their remarkable existence. Join us as we unveil the extraordinary tales of survival and tenacity, where life defies the impossible and transforms the very notion of what it means to be alive. Today we will discuss the possible place within the expanse of our solar system where life could possibly exist and how these organisms are potentially able to survive in such harsh conditions. Enceladus, the sixth largest moon of Saturn, is an icy environment that is about 500 kilometers in diameter. Enceladus has been a focal point for scientific study for years due to its subsurface ocean and geysers of water vapor that erupt in its south pole. On July 1, 2004, the Cassini spacecraft landed on Saturn's surface. During its day, Cassini investigated Enceladus multiple times, and what it found was quite astonishing. The spacecraft detected organic molecules in its plumes, along with various other necessary ingredients for life, including water vapor and ice particles. With that being said, this is some old news that scientists have known for many years. Upon further research conducted by Berlin planetary scientist Frank Postberg and his team, more interesting discoveries have been made. While looking back on seven-year-old data collected by the Cassini mission, Frank and his team discovered phosphorus molecules in samples taken from ice and water that had erupted from Enceladus's plume. Phosphorus is essential for life. Along with oxygen, it forms phosphate, which is the molecule that gives DNA its backbone and helps to form cell membranes. Earth's oceans are abundant with phosphorus, and this is the first time we found it in an alien ocean. Due to this new research and further scientific studies, we are led to believe the ocean on Enceladus could contain 100 times more phosphate than that of Earth's oceans. But scientists have only hit the tip of the iceberg on this study. Do you think there's a possibility for alien life lurking in the depths of this foreign ocean? Right next door to Enceladus, we find Titan. Titan is Saturn's largest moon and larger than any dwarf planet, with a staggering 5,150 km in diameter. Titan looks extremely similar to Earth and it has a nitrogen-rich atmosphere similar to Earth. Titan contains lakes, rivers, oceans, and rain. However, looks can be deceiving. These rivers and rain particles are made up of liquid methane and ethane, and the only water to be found is frozen rock solid due to the jaw-dropping temperatures of 300 degrees below zero. But things are looking up for Saturn's largest moon. That is due to the NASA Dragonfly spacecraft. During its stay on Titan, this spacecraft will explore the Selk Crater. The impact of this crater left a slurry of liquid containing water and methane that persisted as a lake for thousands of years. This lake has a potential to kickstart biochemistry. Combined with geothermal vents pushing water into the hydrocarbon seas, this could create a warmer environment more suitable for life. Titan also has an atmosphere that contains a variety of complex organic molecules, including hydrocarbons. These molecules are essential for life on Earth, which also raises possibilities for potential life on Titan. 
potential life forms on Titan could not derive energy from the Sun, due to it being 1.4 billion kilometers away, but energy could be derived from chemical reactions between organic molecules in the atmosphere or within the hydrocarbon lakes. Some speculate that microbial life forms could utilize these energy sources for survival. In the coming years, NASA's Dragonfly spacecraft will hopefully find more evidence of potential life on Titan and conclude the hypothesis that life exists. Next up is Venus, our neighboring planet, which is a scorching world cloaked in a thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide with crushing atmospheric pressure. Its surface is covered in dense clouds of sulfuric acid, creating a greenhouse effect that traps heat. This effect makes the planet the hottest in our solar system, a staggering 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 475 degrees Celsius. Venus is covered in vast plains and scattered volcanoes, which provide evidence for volcanic activity in the past. This sounds like no place for any sort of life, right? Well, with recent studies, scientific views have begun to shift. In 2020, astronomers detected phosphine, a gas associated with life, in the atmosphere of Venus. This suggests that this gas could be produced by microbes living in droplets of sulfuric acid that float in the Venusian atmosphere, where the temperature and pressure are more Earth-like. However, in a more recent study taking place in 2021, scientists revealed there was not as much phosphine as they thought, making this claim for life a lot less probable. Despite these findings, the most recent study suggests that the basic building blocks for life could potentially survive in the clouds of Venus. Astronomer Sarah Seeger and her team conducted a study where they placed adenine, cytosine, guanine, thymine, and irisol, which are found in DNA and RNA, into conditions similar to that of Venus clouds. The results were shocking. Not only did these molecules survive, but research shows that survival for these molecules was surprisingly easy. Although more research needs to take place, it is beginning to look hopeful that the clouds of Venus could contain fragments of life. Lastly, let's take a look at our own moon. Earth's moon is perhaps the most exciting place to find life, due to it being extremely close to Earth. However, the environment is just as variable as the rest. It is a barren and airless world with a tremendously rocky and crater-filled landscape. The atmosphere is non-existent and there is no geological activity. Our moon also sports extremely variable temperatures, from scorching heat in sunlit areas to extreme cold on the dark side. But as you've probably discovered with the other examples, this doesn't mean that life cannot thrive. On areas of the moon that are permanently shadowed, there is speculation that there could be populations of sturdy microbes harbored within the moon's craters. These craters, along with the ice, create a sort of protection from the deadly radiation that reaches the moon. However, in the case of the moon, it seems any life that may exist is due to humans themselves. Through the dumping of frozen tardigrades onto the lunar surface, it's possible that there are microbes existing on the moon as you're watching this video. And if not already, scientists believe that it is indeed possible for life to exist in these craters in the near future. In our quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe and seek answers to the age-old question of life beyond Earth, we have explored four intriguing destinations in our solar system, Enceladus, Titan, Venus, and our own moon. Through scientific discoveries and advancements, we have glimpsed the potential for life in these diverse environments. From the subsurface ocean of Enceladus to the hydrocarbon-rich lakes of Titan, and even the unlikely clouds of Venus, tantalizing clues hint at the possibility of life's existence. While we continue to probe these worlds with new missions and research, the search for extraterrestrial life remains an awe-inspiring journey that may one day unveil the incredible wonders of alien life forms in our cosmic neighborhood. Where do you think life is most likely to be found? Leave a comment down below and let us know. Thank you once again for accompanying us till the very end. We are constantly crafting captivating content to bring you joy and expand your knowledge. Until we meet again, take care and farewell.